By chance, I found these old PlayStation 2 games. It's Pirates, The Legend of Black Cat, where Cat stands for Katarina, and no, Cat. The story starts with a big mystery, or with a video, there is a medal, or something like that. But the mystery is not because there is a flashback or some other suspense. It's just because I don't understand anything that's what's going on. So there is a video where there is a pirate, tell a story to a little girl and then you're controlling a ship. Without any tutorial, so come on, you have to sink the enemy, let him explode. So okay, we sink the enemy without even know the reason. Maybe they were good people, or what? And then we are getting another video. Somebody else is dueling with someone. Here also, no explanation. And there is uh, the same classic lines. Oh, you have to walk over my dead body to do this. Okay, I will do this. The classic uh, lines, right? So, okay, this guy died. And our hero, after sinking the ship, sees some black smoke from far away. Hmm, what's going on? Over there, there is some smoke. Maybe is my father in danger. I have to go to save him. He comes to see everything is on fire and his father has been killed. But luckily, he wrote a very long letter with a goose uh, quail well if you wrote such a long letter why he could not try to escape if he has the energy to write a letter like this and the bad guy who is giving fire to everywhere in the villa did not notice that he did not die he was like writing a book so okay, from the letter we get a shocking news. Katerina is uh, the daughter of a pirate. Her mom was a pirate. Oh, this is so shocking. I would never imagine that. So she escaped from the from the villa and starts her revenge. She has to go back to the ship, which is of course is moored on the either side of the island so we have to kill all the enemies on the road which is pirates which all they have the same outfit giant crabs and uh, if um, if we enable a teleport to an, another war like ender war like in the stranger things tv series from netflix we'll meet also skeletons here also we have no tutorial like, uh, so we have to mash the buttons and learn the button in the hard way, the classic way. There is no violence. When you kill enemies, they just disappear immediately and become gold or power up. This underworld stuff, which we will see later, it doesn't really make sense. At least in the beginning of the game. Maybe it will make sense later in the game. Uh, something interesting that is that cat can smell gold like Scrooge McDuck. When you walk over a treasure, for example, nearby this um, door, where there is a treasure, and opening the treasure chest, we open the door. When, when she walk over the treasure chest, the controller will start to vibration, to have a vibrate. Like, and then she starts to say, "Oh, I smell gold. There is a treasure under the, under the, under the. I, I don't remember what she said." So you have to go around and mash the L2, but it doesn't always work. For example, when I was in the underworld, she kept telling me for like five or ten minutes, like she was smelling gold, but I didn't find anything. What's the purpose of this goal? I don't know yet. Maybe later in the story there is a store or something like that. I play something like one hour 
I did not find anything. So like uh, when you have killed everybody and arrived to the ship, you'll get a tutorial. A 30 pages tutorial. Why? Why you put that after 25 minutes of play? Really, I don't understand. I already got the commands. Okay, so when you arrive to nearby to the water, you can see that you cannot jump inside the water. There is a force field. Yeah, this is for saving unnecessary programming complication or introduce bugs or just the player is not allowed to jump in the in the water. That's it. And also something we are not used is that uh, you cannot save whatever you want wherever you want or like uh, there are no checkpoints or automatic saves but there are the classic save points here is a pirate when you get in the boat there is a second game mechanic the sea navigation and the shooting against the enemy boats after all like if you ignore this story which is very simple it's a good game, there is adventure, exploration, the fights in the sea. You will be curious to see what's going on on the next island, where is the keys to open the chest. And so it's a good game. Another extra point is the player versus player mode, which is if you invite a, 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 a friend to your home, you can play um, the, the fight between the boats and usually what happens you already know the game you already beat the game why your friend never heard this game so of course he will be lose because he doesn't even know the, the buttons but the game is good and balanced balance um, balance the fight like uh, the guys who lose will get in, will get the more powerful ship. So like uh, if I lose once, I get a, a ship which is three times more powerful than my ship, and this will balance the fight. So the graphics and sound are obviously outdated, but if, if you consider that this is a game from 2002, which is 14 years ago it's great like the water is transparent there are fishes you can see an, another sunken ships or there are monkeys playing or you can leave footprints over the sand so after all is a good game see you for the next video if you liked uh, press like it if you don't like it press uh, i don't like it and that's it so you can see the gameplay right now bye bye
I need the stone key. I need the stone key.
I need the stone key. I know there's treasure nearby. 